Virgo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This oracle card reading is not a horoscope. It is an energy reading that draws on Virgo energies intuitively. So this is for Virgo sun, moon, rising, or wherever Virgo influences your chart. You can apply these themes and energies for the next week or so. I don't date the videos because I realize people don't care about the dates. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't phase people. So um, you see this when you're supposed to, but I do make a new Virgo video every single week. So if you want the, the videos fresh off the press, please click subscribe. You'll help the channel grow, which I'm grateful for. And you will also get the fresh uploads. Like as soon as I upload it, you'll get notified and you can watch the new video. Um, I always create an extended reading every week. So if you want more of the message, if you want a deeper message, a more personalized message, that link is in the description box below. That includes a full tarot card investigation into the energies that we picked up on on YouTube. And then it also includes a romance specific reading. So Virgo, let's get into your energies for Virgo. Mm -hmm. Ooh, slipping out the back. Ooh, subtleties, subtleties, Virgo, subtleties. Or maybe just bottom line, not really wanting to or, or needing anybody to see you right now. Embrace the in-between. Wow, you love it, this situation. That's your... Okay, hold on. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Okay. So we have B spirit in your crowning energy, but it's in reverse. So this seems to be a little bit of a drain on the self. This is um, upright. Upright, well, it's a Leo, it's a Leo card. Think of the sun card from the tarot deck. This is about self and about victory. This could be a little bit about ego and, and um, misapplied confidence or tactlessness of some sort. Now, I don't know if that's you or what you're dealing with because we also have these two other energies here. Embrace the in-between, which I think you're very happy to do. This is Libra energy. Um, you could be dealing with it, Libra. You could be dealing with somebody who is, uh, you're depending on for partnership. You're depending on for, um, um, for not just companionship, but, but for help. And you're, you're ending up getting, de dealing with a lot of the ego. Like they're, um, I don't know, almost like taking pride, making it may maybe too much pride in what they're contributing or wh what they're capable of doing. This is the combined energy of ego coming into play in this, in an ambiguous situation. In other words, you're dealing, this is your, either this is your energy or energy that that's affecting you. You're, you're dealing with a circumstance or a situation where somebody is taking too much credit where they don't deserve it type of energy. Now is a lucky time. What that tells me is there's an abundance of this around you. There's just a lot of, there's just, there's just a lot going on. And honestly, you would be extremely happy right now. You <laughs> know, like this time, this, this time in your life, this, this transitional period um, where you have abundance in your life. And I remember the readings, please do check out older readings from Virgo, especially around October of last year, a lot of abundance was coming into your life. So this would be, and this is a transitional time for you. This is a time when you're sort of you know, changing jobs, changing houses, changing routines, uh, leveling up, awakening. This is a transitional period for you guys. And what, what should be really happy, and especially maybe even during quarantine, I know I 
I, I, I laugh at this a lot, but you know, Virgos like to self quarantine anyway. They like to isolate anyway. So this could be a very happy time for you, right? A time where everybody else is doing exactly what you're doing. So nobody's busting your, 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 your tuchus, um, busting your balls, right? Um, for not working hard enough or being lazy or, or asking you why you're not, you don't want to go out. Like, you know, for, for you, this is a big relief. This could be a very relaxing time for you. But it seems like there is this egotistical energy that you're dealing with. Uh, it could be from a boss, could be from a spouse, could be from a, a many, many different people. Could be Libra. I'm sorry, Leo or Libra are the two sh signs showing up here. But, you know, I would give it to any of the signs. Somebody is acting particularly egotistical in this circumstance or situation and is starting to get to you. <clears throat> it could be somebody that you're stuck with. It could be somebody that still has contact with you or influencing you. It could be the, the media, but there seems like there is this irritation in a time where it should be relaxing and abundant. You have to deal with a big hit, a big head. I don't know if they literally have a big head, but egotistically speaking, they got a big head. Maybe, and this could be your energy. This could be straight up. Why do you have such a big head about this? Like, we know you like to quarantine yourself naturally, but that doesn't make you an expert in any capacity. But honestly, I feel like this is this is an energy that you're dealing with. You just you just like uh, really don't even know really don't even know why am I dealing with it? Like why why is this even an issue? Why is this even a thing? Why are you acting this way? Okay, so we move on to yeah. This is walking in a spider web, leave a message, and I'll call you back. Like, um, unlikely story, baby. Unlikely story. <laughs> Thank you, no doubt. This is um, like the tangled web we weave. Like, how, feeling like you have to place one foot carefully in another because you're afraid if you step on the wrong strand, the spider's going to come and <laughs> venom. You know what I'm saying? There's a sense of feeling like you have to walk on eggshells, right? Because there is somebody weaving and manipulating and pulling strings and <clears throat> keeping you on end. Um, once again, this could be reverse. This could be your energy as well. This could be feeling like you're in control of everything. But this energy would definitely be coming from this person. This person who thinks, oh, they got it all together. They know everything that needs to be done. Oh, I know everything. I know I got it. I got it covered. I I I'm, I know everything, and you know what? You don't. You absolutely do not. And there could be this irritation, or probably is there this irritation that's building inside of you when dealing with this entity, right? This is scorpionic energy. Um, this could be a, a wonderful card or a horrible card, depending on. The cards around it um, but this is definitely the essence of this card is making something happen creating something so in this situation there is a creation of <clears throat> an environment that you're living in a creation of a circumstance or a situation and in this situation it's coming off as very manipulative <clears throat> as very um uh, uh, almost aristocratic uh you know i know i know everything and walk my walk or you're going to get my venom. That's what it's coming off as. Uh, use your mind wisely when pigs fly. This is the art of the impossible, making the impossible happen. Um, so this seems to feel right now like um, somebody telling tall tales, somebody telling fairy tales, somebody saying things that are exaggerated or saying things that you don't believe. Um, Yes, these cards together, like I said, they could have a totally different meaning. They could be like, you're literally making the impossible happen. And I, I swear to you, if this card was upright, that's what I would say. So that's why I'm saying this could be such a great situation. This could be, this could be hey, we're just enjoying ourselves. Well, I'm making the best out of this circumstance in an impossible situation. I'm weaving wonderful things. And that could be mostly what you're experiencing. But then there's this essence crowning your reading of ego, of ego, either taking it too far and taking too much pride as in you're shoving it in, into everybody else's face that, oh, look how great I'm dealing with this or dealing with somebody and having to live with somebody 
who is constantly on the phone preaching to you about how well they're doing it and how good they are at it and how you should do things their way because like dealing with that irritant and that it yeah dealing with that ego so it could very well be that the rest of your life is technically it's going pretty well but there is this thing this person this i say entity because i don't know if it's a boss or like something that you're hearing in the media or a friend or a spouse but this is somebody who you see you can't escape you can't escape them you're almost trapped having to listen to them let spirit be your guide looking into the distance looking into the future trying to remain objective this is the energy of three plus two calming yourself deciding to change your perspective on this this is uh it, it's coming in as a reaction to what you're faced with and it's coming in as a, a way to heal yourself or heal the situation or, or make the best out of a situation this is all right let me sit back let me remain objective try to see what they're talking about try to understand their perspective or at the very least not take it personally and just stop answering texts <laughs> yeah. um for those of you who are actually doing really really well this could be looking toward the future and seeing that the impossible is going to be real in a very good way figuring out things that are working in your favor, things that are going well for you, um, the future is bright. That would be the, that would be the upswing of this. Nothing is wasted. Okay, so this is central to your energy. And for me, it's saying plain and simple, um, yes, you are being irritated by somebody. Yes, you are being sort of bombarded with opinions that you don't need, but that you are working very, very hard and trying to make the most out of this circumstance. You're picking through the trash pile and finding the treasure. You are intentionally making the decision to mind over matter, use your mind wisely, and find the best things to do to wield this crazy situation, this potentially dangerous situation, and make the most out of it. And pick and choose the things that you listen to to, which you guys are masters at so that you can ensure your own peace ensure your own peace of mind because you've identified and very wisely so that peace of mind is more precious than winning the fight or having the credit you want peace of mind you want serenity you want to feel healthy I mean hello um, Virgo rules the the uh, sixth house which is the house of health <laughs> I mean it's like you just want serenity and that's the reason why you're applying your very organized mind to all right even in this really irritating situation even in this really trying situation i'm going to pick out the things that are healthy for me that look good to me and that work on my future being bright so this could also be getting on a diet plan looking to the future um, sifting through foods realizing what to eat and not eat and yes we all have the stress of the social distancing perhaps quarantined if you're around people who had got the virus or whatever um, but this is about deciding to eat the carrot sticks. This could be about like deciding to eat the carrot sticks instead of the Doritos and, or realizing at this point that those are the kind of decisions you're going to have to make because this could be longer term than we think. So it's almost like you gearing up to use your mind to combat any kind of, um, additional negative fallout that could happen from sort of this ambiguous situation going on longer than you expected it's almost like you're you're planning damage control at this point not to say that something horrible is happening but it it, it is it it is something that is uh drawing your attention to it and making you realize you got to think you got to think a little while while out you got to think ahead and start planning and making decisions that are going to be best for six months from now as opposed to just tomorrow um magic works through you yeah you guys are you guys are rocking it so this is a uh, five plus two the energy of seven seven is creation you're working this you're the one uh, you're the conduit you're the conductor you're actually the source that all of this is coming from as in 
the source of the healing, the source of the betterment, the source of the of the transition, the the, the source of um, what is making the circumstance or situation better. You're inventing this. This is Cancerian energy. This is the uh, energy of um, life and death. Trans, tran, um, trans. Oh God, I'm so sorry. It shouldn't be this early in the morning, right? It's like it's not that early in the morning, um, but. The, the transition between life and death, and I'm not talking about real life and death. I'm saying bridging what looks like the impossible, right? It, it, it's it's you being able to find the way through and help to share that with others. This could actually really work out for you. See the big picture. What I say, nine plus two is being enlightened and looking at things from afar. This is Taurus energy. It's very gentle energy. It's grounded, it's silent, it's non-judgmental. And remember I said to you when I was shuffling the cards, I was like, oh, coming out the back, almost like you don't really want to be seen. You don't want to be seen. You don't want the hassle. You don't want the, you don't want the onslaught of opinions. You just want to do you and get through. That's what you want to do. And you want to get through six months from now. You don't just want to get through today or tomorrow. You, you're looking far out. This is a wonderful card because it's got that grounded Taurus energy. Four hooves, firmly planted on the ground. But giraffe also looks out, is able to look out, maybe not into the future, but ahead. And see in the distance because he's got that heightened perspective because of his long neck. He can reach things that others can't reach. Like they can eat leaves off of trees that other animals don't have access to. They don't even have to try very hard. His... His perspective is what's giving him exposure or access to stuff that other people don't have access to. And so this is what you're doing. You're figuring it out, accessing those more logical realms that other people don't have access to, and you're making the magic. You're, you're, you're using yourself as the conduit to share it with others. Now, that, that, those others could be your household. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's all it is. Um, so, okay, hold on. Just let, me, just let me keep going. Take time out. This is healing energy. This is nine. This is something coming to a head. This is something being a very aggressive, a bear, being defensive. I'm telling you right now, this and this is the inspiration for why, why you are going, like, like, extreme logical it's like the the more crazy they get the more aggressive they get you're it, this is like mama bear energy i don't know if you're dealing with a mother figure or you're dealing with a female in your life but this is like grr, aggressive like too defensive like too reactionary and it's like because of this energy in your life you're getting even more logical you're you're maybe even just to get on their nerves a little bit too because they're is irritating you and pissing you off, but also because you you want to make the situation better and you want to balance out. You 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 have a feeling like you you have to balance out their energy. So it's almost they're pushing you to be logical and practical and to think with a rational mind and try to see the best in the situation. It's their aggressiveness that's doing this to you. This is also you being protective and defensive and trying to help your family heal. In your grounding energy is trust the great mystery. And I love that this card has come because grounding you is playing in the shallows. G grounding you is not going deep. Grounding you is not getting all crazy and egotistical. Grounding you is staying light, coming out out of the waves, breaching the surface, staying as light as you can, as airy as you can, and getting the most, the broadest perspective as possible and not getting buried. That's what's grounding you. So it is your choice to stay above this situation that you're dealing with. It is your choice to remain, intentionally remain logical and not get crazy. A little bit is maybe a little bit pleasing to you because I bet you in some cases um, it's really irritating the you know what out of the person who wants attention very badly and is trying aggressively to control the situation. Um, <clears throat> your calmness and their inability to affect you, you know what their reaction to that is. 
and you're getting a little happiness from it. There's a little bit of happiness from the fact that, uh, you know, they can't get to you. And it's basically because they've set this up as a, as a spider web, the only way that you can control them back is to basically not let them control you and let it irritate the living you know what out of them because they can't get one over on you. But it's also you making a decision to pass around your calm and your rationale so that the crazy doesn't get spread. You know, you want the situation to be calm and relaxed and stay as happy and light as possible. And it's this energy that is giving you the constitution to be able to basically stay strategic and stay logical and not kill somebody. I'm gonna flip the camera around so we can review the cards. So here we are. And this was only one card in the grounding position and it's really all you needed because it was sort of this sort of celebration of the shallow, not the shallow as in the bad, the like bad shallow, not, you know, um, ignoring what is important, but as in breaching the depths, because trust in the great mystery is usually just diving right in. You're not going to dive right in. You're refusing to dive right in. You want to stay afloat. You want to stay above this. There are so many cards that say, I want to stay above this. I want to stay above this. I don't want to get crazy. I want to combat the crazy. I want to make sure that the craziness doesn't get out, doesn't go crazy. You could be even doing this internally in yourself because you don't want the crazy to get out. You're being extra rational to try to calm yourself during this situation, especially if there's that outward person or impotent or, or a catalyst that's, that's pushing you toward being your crazy version of yourself. You are working even harder and falling back on your logic to keep you afloat, <coughs> to keep you from going batshit because you could and you know it and you know it and you own it and that's why i think that you're even trying in some ways to enjoy getting on somebody else's nerves because they're getting on everybody else's and the calmer you get the wor the the more crazed they get and you're going to sit back and enjoy that as almost like your victory because what you're doing is you're in 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 that you're keeping the crazy to them and being the filter so that the crazy doesn't spread that kind of energy. So, um, I'm going to definitely extend this reading. Uh, let's see what else comes out. And of course your romance reading is in the extended as well. I will see you guys over there. Link is below.